See, if you got people who get triggered by seeing this type of stuff, what is that telling you? It seems like um, brainwashing to me. If you don't want to get indicted, then don't resist the uh, election and the will of the people. The person that you support, right? If he would have complied with the results of the 2020 election, he wouldn't be facing 71 charges right now. See how they say stop resisting? But they the man wants resisting. So you love resisting if it's your party that's doing it. Ashley Babbitt got her booster shot because she was resisting the results of the 2020 election. Factor cap. Factor cap. Drop in the comments. Ashley Babbitt got her booster shot because she was resisting the results of the 2020 election. Factor cap. Factor cap. Drop in the comments. Drop in the comments, please. If y'all want to participate, factor cap. Factor cap, man. Right? That's it. If she would have stayed at home in California, she would still be here. She would be arguing with me in the comments right now. Right? She wouldn't have got thunderclapped. But she decided to drive cross country from my home state of California all the way down here to D.C. to participate in overthrowing the country. But you tell me that these people are criminals, right? <laughs> and you tell me that she's a what? A martyr? A patriot? This woman left her husband and drove cross country to overthrow the country. Those are facts. Those are facts. And the reason why you're not protecting that black police officer who did his duty is because he's a black police officer, right? What happened to Back to Blue? I thought you guys was a Back to Blue crowd. The police officer who thunderclapped Ashley Babbitt was doing his sworn duty. He was he was doing his sworn duty to uphold the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. He did his duty that day. But Trump called him a thug. Trump called him a criminal, a murderer. What say you? What say you? The black police officer who did his job. Shouldn't he be celebrated? That black police officer should be celebrated for defending the Capitol. Should he not? Should he not? Come on. Right? Come on. Did that black police officer do his job that day? Factor cap. Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Did that black police officer do his job that day when he protected the Capitol from Ashley Babbitt? Factor cap. Drop in the comments, people. Drop in the comments. Come on. Drop in the comments. Right? This is your chance. Oh, you want to participate? I'm going to give you a chance to participate. You guys said that the Republican Party is a party of law and order. You care about law and order. You don't want people to you want people to stop resisting. So when that cop thunderclapped Ashley Babbitt, was he not doing his job? He should be celebrated in this country. I don't see no celebrations for him, though. In fact, he had to go into hiding. And let me tell you something else when we talk about that police officer. When they interviewed that police officer, he said he was doing his oath. And he would defend Donald Trump just like everybody else. He a better man than me. He a better man than me, I'm telling you right now, man. He a better man than me. But he said that he would defend Trump, too. And then what did Trump say about him? Trump called Ashley Baba Mama... Who she out here right now still grinding. I don't know why she out here um, grifting on the grind in D.C. right now. Because she's in California too. But she's still been she been swimming it in D.C. for the last couple of years. I guess she ain't got a job either. But he called her and told her that that police officer was a thug. And he was a criminal. Poor guy had to go into hiding. So, while we're talking about January 6th, the police officers that defended our capital that was being called the N-word by the crowd. Were they doing their duty? Did you back those officers that day? Factor cap. The police officers that defended the Capitol are heroes. Factor cap. Factor cap. The police officers that defended our Capitol January 6th are heroes. Factor cap. Factor cap. You get to participate right now. You get to participate. 
Come on. Come on. So see, if you got a problem with certain types of police officers, then maybe you're not really a back to blue crowd. If you got a problem with certain types of police officers, you may not be a law and order type of person. Right? You you may want to be, you might be more of that tribalism type. And those are big, those are big facts, man. We watched those police officers get attacked by Ultra Maga, right? They got attacked by the Powerpuff Boys and the Oath Breakers because they would not comply with the results of the 2020 election.